Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. We're here for Sketch Survival episode 40. Episode 40? Wow, we're already on episode 40. That's kind of insane. Those are my sheeps uh, that I gathered because they were helping me do the interior of this build. In the thumbnail of the last episode, you may have seen, we added a chimney to the top there. And uh, that's just because on the inside there's a little something something. I think it looks pretty nice. So, let me show you around, because this took quite a while. The longest part being <laughs> the brewing stands. We had to go all the way to the nether to get some, some blaze rods. But uh, I think it turned out really, really nice. But yeah, we added a lot of different details, such as this cactus. I tried putting one of those like azalea thingies, the flowering azalea bushes or whatever. Not these, the actual flowering azalea things. But apparently that's only on Java Edition or something. I also added a little pressure plate here to act as like a plate or a cutting board. Some flower pots around to act as cups. Some brewing stands with just some water bottles in them. A little cauldron with a tripwire hook above like to what pours the water in. I'm not too sure. We also have a little painting here and a little painting there. A lot of seating areas which I think are nice. And then going upstairs, we have done a little interior for the hostels where people can come, take a sleep, and just imagine these trapdoors are actually ladders. They're not really ladders, but as you can see, there's bunk beds everywhere, and then there's also a double bunk bed over here for, I don't know, just, I, I just decided to do that, and people can put their belongings in these chests, which I've not done anything with. We also have a few bookshelves. And then we also have a ladder here that goes up to the top floor. You can see the chimney right here and a little bit more seating, not too much. And then we also have some extra storage of barrels and then some extra wood for if like someone wanted to do like build a fire campfire somewhere or something like that. And I really like how this is turning out and I'm really happy that we're actually doing the interiors of most of these builds. I mean like I don't think we've actually done the interior of this build very much, apart from an enchantment table. Uh, but still, like, we've done quite a bit. Like, up here we did an interior, or an exterior, actually, since it's on the outside. But yeah, I want to put something here in the future as well. And I really like how this turned out. I'm not sure if Western Hostels are actually like this, because I've never seen one. And that's what I came up with. And, uh, yeah. But yeah, I'm not actually quite sure what I want to do in today's episode as of right now, but we will figure something out for this episode that is going to be pretty epic. I was thinking maybe a horse pen. You guys obviously know because of the title and thumbnail probably. But I was thinking like a horse pen or more buildings to add to this area. I'm not too sure though. But right now though, I'm actually working on paths. Unfortunately, I did run out of andesite and also uh gravel as well as stone so i'm gonna have to come to the mines to get some but these paths are i actually don't hate the designs of the paths that we have going on so i think i'm going to continue them around the western village so I, i've been gathering some gravel and indesite and i actually came across this uh i actually don't have enough inventory space to fit much of this stuff so yeah melon seeds pumpkin seeds oh, oh my goodness melon seeds we have melons don't we I, I thought we didn't have melons so i was very surprised but uh a music disc okay that is something we don't actually have uh we don't actually have music discs so that's very nice that we've just got a music music disc and it's actually nighttime outside so i ought to sleep i have now got the paths completed I've decided to work on a little sunflower field and there's like I don't think this is new but there is now a way that you can actually fortune double tall flowers and uh, I never actually knew about this till very recently but they give you one or one to six of the flower that you fortune and I don't think it actually takes the ability off of your actual pickaxe 
which is kind of insane. Like, look at how many flowers I got from that one harvest. So, like, yeah, this is going to be a lot easier than having to bone meal it all individually to get every single flower. It takes a lot of time to break and place flowers. It's kind of insane. But yeah, slowly we'll get this whole field filled with flowers. Oh, there's an Enderman. But uh, until then, we're going to leave this project here. Look at all these sunflowers. But I can't wait for it to be all filled in and finished. But we're going to go back to the Western Build project now because that was just a little like sidetrack that we got. And I want to actually build a new building for the Western Build project. I think I want to build some kind of windmill right here. I think that can look nice. And uh, I'm going to do it in a third-person time lapse because I like third-person time lapses and we haven't done one yet. I don't think in this episode but uh yeah let's get into a third person time lapse of that and uh it's basically going to get energy and we may add a building next to it but right now for now it's just gonna be a windmill and uh yeah let's get into a third person time lapse where we build that And the windmill is now complete. I think it's looking very nice and uh, I could add more detail into it but I feel like this basic little windmill is good enough for this village area that we are building and uh, yeah I'm definitely liking how the design came out to be and uh, yeah I also in this video I also still want to build another building right over here like I said earlier and uh, I didn't actually say I was going to build it here, but I want to build it here probably. But yeah, I think now I want to start work on this new building that we're going to be putting here. Okay, I have the layout for a build now. I'm going to build it up by maybe four high let's see we're gonna put a actually let's put a stair here we're gonna have a stair there just for the window i think i mean the door not the window and then uh maybe we'll have another window right here so stair right there and then i also maybe want to have a window here like so actually that is way too tall that's too tall no that's right actually never mind I'm like messing myself up. I'm gonna have this up. Maybe we can do some logs going across like we have there. Like so for this build. I think that can look kind of nice. Basically I'm just gonna go with what I think would look nice. We're gonna basically have all the walls be the same type of window like this. Going all the way around the whole build. This is just gonna be filled up with solid blocks going along. And uh, yeah. We're just going to fill that in and then do all the windows around in the same form as that. Oh my goodness, Wandering Trader. Any uh, drip leaf? No, no drip leaf. Dang, I really, really want drip leaf. Like, so badly. But uh, I guess I can't get that. And I want to, like, do this pond and stuff with the drip leaf, but I can't. Anyways, I have the windows in like this. Now we're just going to put fences inside of them so you can still see through them, but it's like wooden i'm not too sure what to call it where did i place that fence i placed the fence somewhere on accident right here okay so we just gotta put in the fences like so yeah we're not missing one actually i think we had the perfect amount now for up here i actually want to have this go across and i accidentally fell off when i was trying to place those blocks and then i want this to come up by three one two three actually four so then we can have the top going across like so and then have that over here oh this is like touching that isn't good actually that's very very terrible that they're touching I'll i'm gonna move the whole build over by one which is gonna be a pain but let me do that really fast okay i rebuilt the whole thing one block to the left 
it is sort of interfering with the path a tiny bit, but I have plans for what to do there. And uh, yeah, we're not going to have very much space on this side now that I think about it, because these boats are kind of big. And basically up here, I want to do the same thing and put in some windows in some of the areas, like so. And uh, I basically have a second part of the build. I'm also going to have a roof here, so this one... This part won't be a part of like this side, so this part will only have one floor. Unless there's an attic, of course. And uh, yeah, right here, I just want to fill in the whole wall. Because this is actually going to be covered up, I think, from a roof. Next, we are actually going to start working on the roof. So I think I want to have like some logs going along, you'll see in a sec. But basically have it going like so, like this. And uh... The roof will be sort of like connected to it. What is the center point? This is the center point. And then like, you'll see, I'm going to do the roof on this part, not that part yet. And then uh, I'll come back to you guys and we can talk about what I did. This is what I meant by the roof is going to be something like this. Now I know this over here looks extremely, extremely, extremely horrible. We're going to fix that later on after we have finished the build. Uh, but uh, I want to do the roof on this side next. And I think it's just going to be like a flat roof. Not going to have anything special. It's going to be pretty easy. And something I actually learned is that scaffolding is a really nice scaffolding block. I mean, not scaffolding. Trap doors. Because you can go up just like that and you can go down just like this. So it's pretty, pretty nice to go up and down as like a ladder or something like that and uh, it's kind of cool to be honest like I'm just like having fun playing on it like this I don't know but uh yeah I'm gonna do the roof now I've got the roof in that's basically what I meant by just a triangle roof it's pretty plain but now I want to get in some of the details such as window shutters and other things around the area I have finished the build, I added a little, uh, like eating, uh, like a table outside, and also some leaves around, and I also got myself a llama, which is really nice, and I added some bushes around the area, a little inside this wall now there, and it has some window shutters and all that, and I also added this little overhang bit where the pathway continues, which I think is pretty nice, and uh, yeah, this llama is really cute, and oh, wait, is there another wandering trader? Uh, I don't know where it went. It just, like, disappeared. But there's two more llamas. And, oh. I think the wandering trader went into the nether. Oh, well. Let's just not worry about that wandering trader ever again. But, uh, yeah, we have this building now, and I think it's really nice. I have done a little bit. Now, I did think about doing this in between this episode and the next but I just all of a sudden started working on the interior and eventually it got finished so this is like a little cafe restaurant thing so we over here as you may know we actually have a bar but it doesn't actually serve food so I think it's okay that we have another restaurant right next to it and uh, that restaurant is looking quite fancy with leaves on top with a little Lantern, we also have some tables here and there. The same table designs as the one on my front porch over there. And uh, in the back, inside, we actually have where all the food is. Not all of it, I have some in my house. But we have some carrots, which I harvested recently. And then some cooked beef that I had in my chest. And some potatoes that I grabbed from the place over there, which we're actually going to go see in a sec. And we also have some bread. So yeah, this is where some of our food is going to be. Something else is that we have finished the sunflower farm or field. And uh, I did this on stream. It was fairly easy and it was really fun. And you guys should definitely follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash x by 208. Uh, and uh, that's where we did this. And it was a really great stream. And yeah, it's looking really nice. But yeah, that's... That's completed, so now we're probably going to expand a few more farms before we finish off this project. And it is basically a stream-only thing, as I said before. And uh, it's looking good, I think. But unfortunately, that is going to be it for today's episode. And uh, I really, really enjoyed this episode because we built this amazing build right here. 
And yeah, and another reason actually that I'm ending this video right now is because I want to actually put a little more work into my editing. So recently I have, well, this whole time for my editing, I just made the video so it would fit for YouTube and be good. But now I actually want to make it even more fun with editing. And like, let's just throw in a glitch filter right here. Bam. That was fun, right? And like, I want to be able to edit my videos a lot more smoothly, make it more smooth for you guys to watch, and just have it be better, which means I'm going to have to put more time into editing. But yeah, that is going to unfortunately be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Goodbye!